the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. Are you okay in there? Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. You know, I never wanted to be a DJ. And this isn't really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a whole... Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When the time comes... Let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... Okay, what just happened? Cause that... that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and... Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Oh, here's a padlock code. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh, they call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... In the mirror? The reflection was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now. So... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that.
three, four, eighteen, and voila! Who's that? Uh, you tell me. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. here has always been it's like primitive and from the future yeah no it's something is this what you were talking to me on yep old girl did the trick you think maybe uh, Clarissa was using this before you know to call us and everything it was locked remember how could she have gotten in same way I did but then I don't really know how she could have gotten out Gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd, you Oh know. my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look at me. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? What is she thinking? I mean, I'm freaking out too, but like, relax, honey. This might be like a Nona situation where she's just uh, losing it a bit. And you know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. 
But Ren, Ren acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Hello? Is this thing, is this... God, is this... Is this going out, or... Wait, I can... Ugh, I can hear myself, that's Ugh, not... man, maybe God, she didn't see anybody... us. I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. In the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Wanna play a game? Ugh. They're talking about... It's talking about the Navy? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like, a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a class? U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Yeah, sure, if that's... that's what you want. Excellent! Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War II. Codes? I mean, aren't codes just... codes? Maybe not so easy, huh? Ah. God damn it. Hey, come on. Normally the guy's not drawn so much each time. Do you think we want this? this? We don't want this. This isn't sport. <sighs> Look, no one would want this. Whatever this is, nobody would want it. Nobody would want what we have. And yet, yet. We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, what the hell are you talking about? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. Ten. The other ships and other ships Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values in the changing world. Five. Fifty-three? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. 97 brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers, 12 passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. Man, I didn't need to get that far. 
Submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near. Why are you here? Was it something we? What a question. Never left. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. Time. What? I... That was not fun. Just take it slow and easy. You've just had... An experience. Yes, yes, very good. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just. That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. your fingers uh, Clarissa oh my I thought you said you were coming to help me where have you been it couldn't possibly have taken this long to walk from the tower to here I've been sitting fumbling around with this stuff I don't know how to work this crap Clarissa are you like okay yeah I'm all right why don't I look all right yeah sure my hair might be a little weird but there's not a lot I can do about that you just sounded really distressed that's all well I mean I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there... Any These officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, not now! We're... we're looping again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. Clarissa! Is there anything like... can we... Cross your fingers. <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? Look, Clarissa might be dead in there. Wh why? <laughs> we just heard her. Look, are you feeling okay? I'm not nuts, so Jonas. We've, like, done this. We've gone through this door and seen Clarissa twice now, and once she was hanged, and we're about to do it a third time. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I believe that. You believe this, so, all right, just keep me posted, I guess, on how that develops. 
Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Yeah, it it only broadcasts within the within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Call it a hunch. Well, I'm still going to try. Clarissa. Oh, thank God, Clarissa. We saw... Uh, I saw you. Alex, don't worry. She's like... I can never forget she's that like I'm an American. There will be other ships. And other souls to sail them. Oh my God! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not... It's not like we're... She... She was... She was like possessed. I, I, I just, I, I just, uh, this is, Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't, I don't even know what to, we, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them or, or how to tell them. I'm, I, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we, she knows me. This can't. Oh God, and just the fact that I'm the one who who was here, and oh God. We'll, we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both Wait, saw- Wait, she, she's, uh, I can't think of the appropriate word here. Dead? The word is dead. She should be dead, Alex. I watched her. There was no breaking that fall, so how'd she walk away? This isn't possible, because- Hallucination? Dual hysteria? I, I don't, I don't know, Jonas. Well, regardless, good news? Yes. Jonas, of course it's good news that Clarissa isn't dead. Christ. That's not why I hesitated. Of course it's good news if she's not dead. I'm just <laughs> saying if. Well, she's not dead, Jonas. We can, I think, make at least a stand on that. All I'm saying is we don't know a whole lot of anything right now. Let's just get back to Ren at the comm tower. 
Maybe he's had better luck than us at anything. Alex, come on. Clarissa's probably not doing too great right now. Hey, no fooling. We know of the five of us, Clarissa can take a lickin' and keep on ticking, so we can safely assume she's okay. Huh. <sighs> I saw you guys coming up from the tower. The Dick Tower. I think you mean Harden Tower. Please don't ruin that for me. It's all I have left. Anything uh, good to report? Besides that you're still alive, which I'm glad. You know, don't get me wrong. Thanks. Um, yes, I am still alive, but, uh, no. Other than that, no. Any luck contacting somebody? Nope. No luck to speak of. And honestly, I thought this week was going to be a big karma dump. I found like 50 bucks in the street, and I knew who it belonged It's okay. It's... you tried. That's all you can do. The stupid radio has been... what my therapist would call a negative reinforcer. It just won't work right. Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know... Wait, second brownie? Ren, please tell me this is a joke, okay? This is a joke, right? Mmm... why would this be a joke? I'm not joking. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down- You better pray to whatever God scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not, that's not nice. <laughs> oh, God. Tower served many different telecommunication functions, including point to point from its receivers, microwave from its dish, CA band for satellite reception, and military air band for nearby aircraft. Unique in its construction, the tower houses its office in a segmented platform directly underneath its antenna and dish. Once unceremoniously called Site 82, in 1988 it was redesignated Hardin Tower for its longest tenured radio man, Major Richard Dick Hardin who served as the tower's communications officer for eight years. From 1941 to 
Okay. Let's see. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like, I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like, out there. Uh, it's been ghosts, Nona. Ghosts are going on. The blackouts, the hallucinations, it's all been ghosts. Ghosts? Really? Yeah, and it would really help if you could just jump to the believing us part. It would save a headache. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great! This is perfect! I know exactly what to do! Do you? Yeah, totally! It's Maggie Adler! Maggie Adler? Yeah! She has a boat! Had a boat. I mean... The boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not gonna go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. <laughs> hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so well, I... and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Wait, set fire to the mug shop? I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, guys, this isn't really a productive. It should be obvious to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Guys, now you know there's no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. The stories I heard about this guy? He's a maniac, okay? He's gonna trash our only legitimate means of getting out of here if you buy into this crap. Legitimate means? What do we- Guys, stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look. I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. There what is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever. I'm ready. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You are- Just uh... shut up, both of you! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night- Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of. Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. Why this are you isn't... making me shack up with it's this guy? It's my friggin' We've plan. We've been together the entire- It's why? <laughs> this is why. Easiest question I've been asked all night. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is- No, it's fine. This'll be a good- If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. <sighs> yeah? Well, I don't really care right now what you're happy with. See you soon. No hard feelings, right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. I can't win. I cannot win.
no hard feelings. Right? I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Uh, whatever. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So, it's like, what's the point? But you miss the class. Isn't that like the most important part? How do you even learn anything? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So, I learned jumping. That's enough. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Why didn't you tell us? We could have made this more of a, you know, a, a birthday thing instead of just a beach bash or whatever. I, d I don't even know why I mentioned it now, really. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and, well, I was thinking about my last birthday when, you know. Actually, sorry, never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. Sorry. No, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just, this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not gonna pout about that. It's common decency, it's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know.
is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders Ugh. is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. Okay, that's creepy. was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, hmm. molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. Huh. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface. Interesting. Curious what's over this bridge. It's a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies both foreign and domestic. This is the sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling. Yes. No. First, we will eat, and then we will 
This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. This data command annex, as it had been done, I want to see if that Clarissa gal is there. Yeah, see that? That has to mean something. never did go up here, so maybe there's something up here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's the Eller state. Oh. So let's see. Yeah, I don't need to go there just yet.
What does that say? Something. So, something obviously bad is going on. Based on the prior, like, little anomalies we keep picking up, it almost seems like... Like, everybody might die, except for one person? I don't know. It's very... unusual. The codes thing I knew, where it was asking what do they call codes, which was cookies, I just pressed the wrong trigger because it was backwards. Which is kind of annoying. I wanted to get that right. Okay. Almost there. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah. I just hope Ren's not misremembering his sister's job or something. up there what are you doing she's alive you you're alive man I've never been so happy to see you in my life Clarissa what Alex Christ what's wrong with her Clarissa can you can you hear me Clarissa wake up fight them off take control of yourself um hang in there baby Alex uh, please can you just I don't know what you can do but can you just do something please just try anything like you think you can control me? I, what? I, I no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. But you're a fine girl. We're not trying? What about you? What have you done? You get stuck in Milner. You ask for our help. What have I done? I've sacrificed. I've made amends. Bottomless sacrifices. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? <sighs> you scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Because that didn't look great. <sighs> Do you remember anything that happened? I remember waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? Clarissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you, do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Really? Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. So you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Are you... are you controlling this? It's, uh, my turn, if that's what you mean. And you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, because I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother- Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions, just... 
We have to stick together if we're gonna make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates. Why? Why does it have to be my fault? Why does it have to be your fault? Are you kidding no, me? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, it would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa, Ugh. you weren't there. No one was there, so how the hell would you know? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the freak sister who let her brother die while she clung scared to the bowline. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe, ugh. She is, Seriously. Nona, it was awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is gonna get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the outs in free. Hey. Whoa. Man, do you ever, do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Oh, constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kind of been my, it's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is like right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through. Honestly, the lock looks pretty worn. Bust our way through? What is that supposed to mean? I think we should try it. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. I go looking for trivia, I end up with disappointment. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock, whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work uh, for- okay. Cool. Great. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a- wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna, okay, here. <laughs> Whom it should concern, this island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? Wait, isn't she dead? Didn't she die like yesterday or something? Uh, it's dated a month ago, so I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control? Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, 
Know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home. To be totally face up with you. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, hmm. it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962, and in 1965, erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Named after... Okay, so there are four more anomalies left. There was there was one thing oh god. There was one thing up by the lighthouse, I think, and then there was that that other thing. Okay, so these last four I gotta get. Uh there aren't like notes that'd be really helpful letters here we go uh, I can't read that <laughs> come on Inside you'll find two Valkup radios. I've commandeered the old Cardinal Station 1401 and used it to clues. Okay, so 1401. Okay. Okay, so 1401 is where I need to put it. Everything becomes a Alpha, November, Tango, a -N -T India, I Quebec, Q Uniform, Echo, eventually. Everything, Everything becomes, becomes a, a Alpha, November, Tango, 
India, Quebec, uniform, echo, eventually. Everything because of antiques, eventually. Everything be- Oh my god, the, the Kanaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. I heard sonic. It had held a developmental nuclear reactor in its belly and it had been sent out weeks earlier as a test of its capabilities. Relatively few even know of its existence, which tripled the base's confusion when submarine communications had been cut. No one outside of a handful of us would ever know the truth. I would discover later that a weapons technician of the Walt of the Walter Row had been at Francis Salter's wedding. Salter was an engineer on the Kanoa. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. Okay, so I'm gonna have to leave this thing on constantly. Okay, so I need to get a bunch of letters. I need to open up that vault thing, and I need to get the other anomalies. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. I brought the jacket because I like the jacket. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I... Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. Hey. No, I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? I just... <sighs> never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah, um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. So I can't really do anything.
It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> I don't have any, I don't think. I don't believe you. So... Uh, <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Uh, forget it. It's all right. Um... I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kind of sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. We talked ex-girlfriends mostly. Well, now I know that's not possible because I don't call them... Actually, I'm just going to stop with that joke because if I keep going, I'd be due for a little punishment. Yeah, I'm sure. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm going to run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I've, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you, too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night, and board game night, <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... I was... It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Oh. 
on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home, turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home, turn on the... There's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up. My memory of it, let's see. Destroyer. Where I grew up, my memory of it is, I think part of the reason why I said, you win the crazy unit. I can't even read this. Ah, oh gosh, come on guys, don't let me squint. My memory of it is, I think, part of the reason why I said you, when the array reunited as head of college, despite my family protestation and my closest friend from childhood, was, uh, was of course thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I honestly started the petition in 1976 to have this one made after the daughter of crewman Francis. Salter asked, I don't know why, and marker. Maybe for the hope I had to help people. Why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. But it worked out so great. How have... Um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I gonna have to put up with? No, I'm glad we can leave, let's put it that way. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Oh, yeah, that's true, I suppose. Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? Number station 1401. If we're still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl.
Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Hmm. Let's see. I want to go back to that Fort Minor place. One four zero one. That's what it is. Okay. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. How did she get so rich? If she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. in here just looks like vacation slides or something huh Ren you were right there's like a ledger here the Adler family does own the island and here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says 29 18 54 a chest have you seen one yet let's just look it'll probably just be more Whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. She made a lot of... What should I call these? Slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? that needs keys there are no oars and before we go crazy it's not it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office like with the radio no we looked through all of her stuff I think huh well uh what's plan B if we can't find it um plan B Keys. they they have to be in the house for the movers or her family you know that's as good a guess as any 